On the civil side, the work of the county courts involves dealing with civil disputes, such as personal injury cases, claims for damages and injunctions, possession proceedings against mortgage borrowers and property tenants, and claims for reasonable provision out of the, estate, uh, out of the estates of deceased persons. The county court's jurisdiction is first instance, in other words, it's a trial court, trying cases, but it does have some limited powers to hear appeals from local authorities in the area of housing law. The High Court. The High Court is split into three divisions. The Queen's Bench Division of the High Court deals with actions relating to various different kinds of tort. A couple of things I want to explain here. The Queen's Bench Division is called such because there is presently a Queen on the throne. If there is a King on the throne, it's called the King's Bench Division of the High Court. I also mentioned the idea of tort. Now, what are torts? Torts are civil wrongs other than a breach of contract. So let's have an example. Let's say I'm hauling a piano up to a second floor flat on a rope. Let's say you're walking along the street. Uh, the rope breaks and the piano falls on your head, injuring you. Now, you would obviously want to sue me, wouldn't you? We're not in a contractual relationship. You're walking along the street. I'm hauling a piano up. So there's no contractual wrong I've committed against you. I have been arguably negligent in not using a strong enough rope or what have you. So torts are uh, grounds of action in civil law. And primarily the business of the QBD, which is the abbreviation, Queen's Bench Division, of the High Court, deals with various kinds of torts. Now, these can be wrongs against the person, such as defamation, wrongs against property, such as trespass, or wrongs which may be against people or property, such as negligence uh, or nuisance. The QBD, the Queen's Bench Division, also deals with matters that involve both contract and tort, such as personal injury cases, which show negligence and breach of a contractual duty of care. In other words, a contract that says that one of the parties to the contract has a duty of care to the other party. So a mixture of contract and tort, in other words. Things are complicated, aren't they? Now, I said a moment ago that the, uh, one of the levels of difficulty that we have to deal with is the fact that uh, the courts that we're looking at have both a trial jurisdiction and an appellate jurisdiction. And I want to pick up this point now in relation to the QBD, the Queen's Bench Division. The QBD can hear appeals from the Magistrates Court, which is a criminal court that I mentioned a bit ago and I'll look at in detail in a moment, and from the Crown Court, another criminal court that we'll look at in detail in a moment but the Crown Court operating its, in its appellate capacity, point I'll come back to. The Queen's Bench Division also has a supervisory jurisdiction over cases from the Magistrates Court and the Crown Court acting in its appellate capacity. When the Queen's Bench Division is exercising its supervisory jurisdiction, it is not strictly acting as an appeal court. It's performing a different operation called judicial review. Once again, if you were a law student or a practicing lawyer, the distinction, the difference between the idea of an appeal and the idea of the QBD acting in its supervisory capacity uh, as doing a, a judicial review is of immense importance. It's a rather uh, fiddly distinction to draw, and I'm going to make another excuse that for our purposes, in order to understand the basic pattern, the basic operation of the courts, all we need to know is that the QBD has this supervisory jurisdiction, which is linked to the idea of judicial review, as well as an appellate jurisdiction over both the Crown Court and the Magistrates Court. Now, one of the good things about turning to the Chancery Division of the High Court is it's perhaps not as complicated as the Queen's Bench Division. The principal business of the Chancery Division of the High Court is corporate and personal insolvency. It also deals with business, trade and industry disputes, the enforcement of mortgages, intellectual property matters, copyrights and patents, disputes relating to trust property, and contentious probate actions. The Chancery Division has a very limited jurisdiction to hear appeals from the County Court. That's all I'm going to say about it. The third division of the High Court, the Family Division, and the clue is in the title, uh, deals with matters such as divorce and custody of children. OK, so we've dealt with the County Court. We've dealt with the High Court. I next want to look at the Civil Division of the Court of Appeal. Again, the clue is in the title. The Court of Appeal is primarily, exclusively, uh, an appeal court. It deals with or hears appeals from 
the three divisions of the High Court, in other words, to remind you, Chancery, Queen's Bench and Family, from the County Court across England and Wales, and from certain tribunals, such as Employment Appeal Tribunal, the Immigration Appeal Tribunal, the Lands Tribunal and Social Security Commissioners.